Today, we're going to see if I can beat Terraria using only Crimson Loot, or to be more precise, only loot that can be found while inside the biome. How did I decide on Crimson? Well, I spun a wheel, and it just so happened to land on arguably the most difficult option. Why is the Crimson so bad? Well, for starters, the world evils are the only biomes where NPCs will refuse to live, so they're off the table. Additionally, it's full of crimstone, blocks that can only be destroyed with a world evil pick or bombs. And this is all just scratching the surface of the problems we'll face here. I was pretty convinced this biome wouldn't be possible, but just for fun, I gave it a go. As I'm sure you're all aware, the crimson is not a fun place to be in the early game. So while I was attempting to search for bombs for the first 10 minutes, I was really just farming deaths. I wonder when when the time is to pull the plug, because there's like, obviously no way this works, but I really want to get at least close. What if we killed Brain super early with like Rotted Fork? We don't even have to really kill it. We could technically just hit it enough to get like the pickaxe to where we can at least mine this stuff. So after finding a few bombs, we made a pivot to focusing on the Brain of Cthulhu for the pickaxe. Gimme. Huge. That's actually so big. <laughs> There's not a lot of life we can work with. I don't even think about that. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, this is a completely vanilla expert world. No special seeds, and besides changing our world spawn, no t-edit shenanigans. So we are very limited when it comes to how much loot is available to obtain here. And while this biome does spread, it spreads incredibly slowly and can't infect stone into hard mode. So life crystals and chests are a very precious commodity. To save on bombs, I hoiked through the crimstone to destroy the orbs. Although we just need to kill a few creepers for the pickaxe, I'm not crazy enough to attempt that with our current gear. So I decided to gear up just a bit beforehand. This whole process was very tedious, but I managed to obtain a life crystal and more importantly, gemstones. No way, we got a hook. No way. <laughs> Wait, that's so big. We got so lucky. Not only is this great for general movement and boss fights, but I can also use it to hoik through small gaps in the crimstone that I otherwise could not have reached. Oh, this is just scary as hell. Can you f attack while I'm hitting you? Good, okay, never mind, we're fine. Never mind. Oh. Since we looted the drop in the Crimson, it's fair game. There's not a lot of drops that are exclusive to the Crimson, especially in terms of accessories. So for this challenge, as long as we are in the Crimson biome, any loot dropped is fair game. Though to keep this rule fair, I won't allow artificial spread of this biome. So no, I can't just go find a boomstick in the jungle, dump a ton of crimstone around it, and then call it a day. Nor will I purposely lure enemies across the world into the crimson for the loot. Because we can't get Moonglow in the crimson biome, Spelunkers will be few and far between. So I was super relieved when I stumbled across the nymph. With the help of the metal detector, I continued hunting down a couple more life crystals before we finally took a stab at the brain. Now again, our goal isn't necessarily to kill this boss yet. We just need to take out a few creepers. And after getting a rather lucky drop, I figured we could do just that. Okay, where are you? Oh, I'm scared. I'm scared. We haven't killed any yet. Okay, we killed one. <laughs> no. How much should we get? I mean, hey, that's something. Oh yeah, what did we get? Oh, red right fork. Nice. Okay, that's what we wanted. So, okay, there we go. We're in. I wish I could heal right now. <laughs> I'm so close to killing so many of them. I forgot that. I forgot that Nimbus too. Get out. We're not trying to win. We're trying to get as many as we can. Pick off the weak ones. Get the hearts. Okay, much better, much better. <gasps> Damn it. Okay, that's enough though. Yeah, we could get both. <laughs> we could meatball it. I've never tried that, but I'm so down. Okay. Oh, wrong way, wrong way. I'm choking. I'm choking. Okay. <laughs> okay, that was way better. So, I know I said that NPCs will refuse to live in the Crimson, and that's still true, but for the ones that can spawn here on their own... Oh, Tavern Key. I just won't be giving them the choice. However, I should mention that if at any point the NPC dies, we will have absolutely no way of getting them back. Well, we haven't quite exhausted our Crimson biome, the loot was definitely getting sparse. 
Luckily, there's still one more, so I traveled over and made a bed warp to grant easy access between them. With no NPCs, we will never get teleporters or pylons, so this is the best we can do. We are desperately hoping for Hermes boots, because otherwise, I don't think we can contend with the wall. I ended up getting the panic necklace, some of the life crystals. There's always a life crystal just outside the range. And then finally, our second gold chest. Here we go. Please, Hermes boots. Oh, that's good too. I forgot about Cloud a Bottle. I will take that. I will take that. I would have rather had boots for sure, but Cloud is really nice. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look who's here. Look who's here. Okay. Wait, this is huge. I need to not kill him. We're gonna make a little little house for you, buddy. We're gonna make a little nice humble abode. There we go. No way, dude. <laughs> no way. Oh, that's so clutch. That's so huge. I feel like this is actually doable now. I had no idea how we would ever get things done before, but now, with that, I mean, shit. Up until now, I had my doubts in this run, but with the boots secured, I was able to start looking ahead. After gathering a few more life crystals, I started farming the Old One's army until I had enough medals for the tier 2 century. Though we still had a few concerns for the future of this run. Will wings you allowed to use? That's the thing. I don't know if we can use wings, because how do we get Mithril Landvill? I don't even know if I can use the Pone Hammer, right? Okay, unless Wall of Flesh dies in the Crimson. But we'll figure that out when we get there. For now, I was on the lookout for the Shimmer Biome. Because we're not really looting anything, rather just transmuting our pre-existing items, using the shimmer as above board. After shimmer reforging a few times, I made my way down to hell and began building a hell bridge. In most of my runs, this would be quite early for the wall, but since I can't exactly get loot from the rest of the bosses like Queen Bee and Skeletron, for this run, we'll just stick to the mandatory ones. While building the bridge, a viewer of mine raised a really good question. What happens if the hallowed biome spawns over top of our crimson? Well. It wouldn't necessarily kill a run on the spot, because the other side of the V, of course, gives us a new Crimson. However, we would lose access to our NPCs. So in addition to us hoping that the wall dies below the Crimson, we also have to hope our Hallow Biome doesn't overtake the NPCs we've managed to find. With the bridge done, it was time to look for buffs, and our options are incredibly limited. We can craft swiftness potions, thorns, and find fruit and burgers for well-fed. I did have a singular regen lying around from chest loot, but we had no way of getting more of these. We also could only use lesser healing potions. Because of how dismal the buff situation looked, I decided to check one last time to see if there was an herb bag lying around that I had missed. Unfortunately, we saw no such luck. We have like no buffs. We have a regen and a burger. That's it. No swiftness, no iron skin. Can't you get Damus from that small normal patch of land to the left of your main base? Oh shit, wait, you might be right. Oh, I didn't think we'd get lucky enough for one to spawn there. Hold up. Is this fair game? Oh, that's so fair game. Dude, there was a singular day bloom. Oh my god, okay. With the supply of day blooms, we could now get iron skins and archery potions. Unfortunately, it's still quite limited because most of the buffs require fish. And with no merchant, we can't get the bug net, so no bait for us. Earlier in the run, I was hoping we could find a can of worms to get us started, but now that we finished looting both of our crimson biomes, Fishing is off the table. And so we started the wall fight with what little we had. I made use of the tendon bow with Jester arrows and archery potions, as well as the ballista. We just had to pray I happened to take this thing down underneath Crimson, because if not, I can't touch the loose. No emblem, no demon heart, no pwn hammer. Oh yeah, we're good. We're chilling. Yes, okay. Nice. And we can't loot it. We did it. We did it though. We did it. Nice. Okay. We saw not much runway, but a little bit, so that was a good call. Wow, okay. That went really well. We saved some Jess arrows too. <gasps> no way. No way. That was a soul of night. Can we mine? Can we get this? Close it up. I feel like it is. Oh, there. Oh, and we just got another one. No, it's good. It's good. Yeah, that's for sure good. With the help of the hard mode V, I could also gather Hellstone now for the Molten Pick, officially unlocking the hard mode Aorus. While we do have much more Crimson to work with now, it's still not a lot compared to normal, so I decided against going for the better rare hard mode Aorus and settled for Palladium. Next, it was time to look towards a weapon that was capable of taking down the mechs. I had already obtained the life drain from a random mimic I killed earlier, but I mainly wanted the dart pistol, so I started grinding some mimics. 
I decided not to make a huge farm like I normally do to farm souls, because without bombs, it didn't feel worth the time and effort, especially considering it's just a 20% drop. I would deeply regret this. Nice. We're getting... <laughs> hey, I mean, uh, better reforge, I guess. <laughs> Here we go, and oh my god. You are joking. Wait. Oh, okay, uh, there's a lot of extra defense. Which I guess is fine. Did we find the strat? Oh, maybe not. Oh my... Every failed attempt sends me back all the way down to the other side of the world to get to the Crimson Underground, to farm 15 more souls. And to make matters worse, with our current gear, fight wasn't exactly easy either. With just two or three mistakes, we'd waste the whole attempt. No. GG's, GG's. Stay with me. Damn it. <laughs> we got the other weapon. That's awesome. What was it? Oh my god, another life drain? In the midst of this grueling grind, I found the wizard, maxed out my life, obtained a crimson key, and thanks to some incredible luck, I found some moon glow near the crimson V that just so happened to border the jungle. While lots of buff recipes are still locked behind fishing, finding moon glow here was huge. Anyway, back to more mimics. <laughs> no. How many life, dude? I swear, life drains like it's it's eighty percent chance. Dude, why hundred percent life drain? Apparently. After three hours of grinding and 13 Mimic kills, we got it. Yes, got it. Let's go. Okay, and we got Godly on it too, which is kind of insane. But before tackling some more bosses, I wanted to take another stab at acquiring bait. If I could somehow fish, it would open up a plethora of options to us. Weapons, bars, accessories, buffs. You get the idea. Though you're probably thinking, hey, didn't you say before that fishing was off the table? Well, at that point in time, I thought it was. However, thanks to the Shimmer, there is still a chance, although it's quite slim. While there doesn't seem to be any interaction with critter statues in the Shimmers page, if you instead go to the statue page on the wiki, we see that the statue produces fireflies when decrafted into the Shimmer. Oddly enough, this only seems to work with very specific bait statues. According to the wiki, the worm and grasshopper statues don't decraft into anything at all. Only the scorpion, firefly, butterfly, dragonfly, and buggy statues would produce bait. I didn't like our odds because again, we can only obtain loot while inside the crimson, and there's a wide variety of statues available. While I could technically wait a really long time for the crimson to spread everywhere, I had no interest in waiting so much time before progressing. But it turns out I had nothing to worry about, because after about 30 minutes of searching with Splunkers, we found our statue. <gasps> wait, that's a, that's a critter, I think. I don't even really know what that is, but that's a critter, right? Firefly? <gasps> Yo, chat, we done it. I would have loved something better, but that's not the worst thing to find. How much bait do we get from the statue? Five. Just five. Also, I'm curious what's in this one. Oh my god, there's bait in that. <laughs> there is bait in that. Of course, it's the one I can't get right now. We do have bait though, so it's fine. We found our statue. Oh, watch this one have it too. Just watch. It's gonna have either herb bag, which could be shimmered into it, or another can of worms. Yep, yep, of course. Mm hmm. Of course it would. That makes so much sense. This one's a little closer though, and by little I mean a lot closer. You can loot that as crimson. Wait, really? Was it? How? <gasps> the rain's still red. Oh my god. I feel dumb now. I feel so dumb. <laughs> It was there the whole time. <laughs> okay, well now we got a lot of bait. That's huge. So we started fishing, and luck was very much so on my side that day. We got a stupid amount of titanium crates, giving us plenty of master bait. At that point, bait was no longer the scarce resource. So I fished out the blade tongue and also some buff fish for the destroyer fight. Ah, uh, where's my thing? It's there. Damn, dude. That's crazy damage. Okay, huge. Buff. I should have buffed. I'm so silly. <laughs> we got some good damage in chat. 
I started with Destroyer because I figured it would be the easiest to tackle thanks to the Life Drain. Additionally, it's the only mech summon I can craft. For the next two, I'll have to wait until they decide to spawn naturally, or for an enemy to drop the summon. Now you may have noticed, I did this fight without wings. And that's because we can't really get any yet. All the wings available at this point require us to use Souls of Flight to craft them. So our only hope at obtaining wings this early into the game is through the dev set drops. But after a few more destroyer kills, I ran out of summon materials. So we'll just have to hope we get a set to drop moving forward. I made the switch to a Squire Monk hybrid set for the extra regen and defense, and took on the twins. This fight can be pretty tricky without wings or mounts, but with a spare featherfall potion, it wasn't anything I couldn't handle. While waiting for a random prime summon, I grinded out some old ones army for the tier 3 armor that will eventually unlock. Fortunately, we were interrupted by a blood moon spawn. The Sanguini staff is certainly not great without summoning armor or accessories, but the extra bit of damage will still be nice. And after several more nights of AFKing in the bed, we had our prime summon. Initially I was really worried about this fight because of our lack of wings and especially knockback immunity. However, to my surprise, it wasn't that bad. Just by keeping my distance from the head to avoid a potential stun lock, I beat the boss with ease. Now, because I was lucky enough to have some crimson bordering the jungle, if I waited long enough, I could get plenty of chlorophyte and lifers, but that's boring and would take ages, so we won't be doing that in this run. Instead, we started on the plant arena, which was much more annoying to build than usual because of course, no bombs. So naturally, I got interrupted by an event. The solar eclipse could not have come at a better time though, because the death sickle will help immensely with this boss. It did four damage. <laughs> okay, I think we're fine. Some tells me we're gonna be fine. Okay, it's the hard part. Okay, there we go. Now we drop. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, that was really. Dude, I perfectly timed that. <laughs> that was the perfect distance. Okay, that was so free. Uh, we just have to leave that there, which is really sad, but there we go. Plant is dead. With that, the post-plant dungeon opens up. According to our rule set, it would be completely off limits for looting, but I decided to make an exception for the biome chest because it would feel weird to make a crimson only video and then not use the crimson biome weapon. Because of all the restrictions in this run, there wasn't much left to do. Naturally, with the knives, we took out all of these, but I've been playing without wings for far too long. And dev options are quite a bit outdated for Cultus and Moonlord, so instead, I farmed a bunch more Old Ones Army for the Betsy Wings. As a nice bonus, I also was getting more medals for Tier 3 armor, as well as Betsy weapons to aid with the Lunar Vent. Boom, and we get the wings. Despite just having 400 life, the new weapons and armor carried us all the way through Cultist and the Pillars. While a Pillar did spawn in our Crimson, we can't really do anything with the fragments because we need the Ancient Manipulator. And again, I felt that luring the Caldus to the Crimson wouldn't have been as interesting. So we already have our gear for Moonlord. Oh, I I did, but that's where I put my route of Discord. <laughs> so I like muscle memory swap to that spot. Whenever I see bad positioning in this fight, I just spam my bind for, I think it's nine. And then I'm like, oh yeah, I don't have that. Okay, this is gonna not be as free as I thought actually. Partially because I'm playing. I mean, entirely because I'm having playing. But, oh no. Okay, I need more health before I get this next phase going. <laughs> I really need more health. Okay, we'll heal. There we go. Alright. One more. Yikes. Actually, we might not be good. Actually, we might not be good. That sucks. Ow. Bad. I need some distance. I need some distance. <laughs> God. Okay. I don't know why this was so close. I think we're good now, though. Because, yeah, I have a potion at the ready. Let me know if you guys would like to see more of these runs, but in other biomes. I'll probably change the rule set a bit by increasing the limitations on what we can use, because many of the other biomes will be quite easy by comparison with the addition of the NPCs and, of course, easier early games. But, yeah, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.